Hey guys, and welcome to Teams Tuesday. Today, we're gonna to answer one of the common questions we get asked about Microsoft Teams, which is, can we set up a team that includes people from outside of our business? And the answer is absolutely yes. You can have teams that are internal only and teams that are shared with guests. So let's say that you're working on a project for one of your clients and you want them to have the ability to upload files and data that you need, as well as see the output files or project plans and reports that you are creating for them. We can do that really easily in Teams. So let's have a look. Now, firstly, we want to make sure that your Office 365 tenant is enabled for external sharing. You can do that in the admin center right here. Now, your IT admin will need to take care of this part first if it's not already enabled. Once that's done, let's pop into Teams and create a new team. Here, we'll choose to create it from scratch and create a private team. Also, if you have the new unified labeling enabled, you get to choose which security policy applies to the new team at this stage. Give the team a name and hit create. Okay, now let's add someone to the team from outside the organization. We'll choose to manage the team and then add a member. And here we're just gonna add the email address of the person we want to add and press close. That's it. Now, there can sometimes be a delay in setting up a new team and adding external members, so don't worry if your guest isn't alerted immediately. It can take a couple of hours in some cases. Next, we're going to create a new file that we're going to work on with our client. In this case, just a simple Excel file for sharing project information. You can see that we can actually do all this directly in Teams. Once it's created, we can immediately open up a conversation with our client to chat about this specific file discuss the project, or guide them on what we need them to fill in here. Now at this stage, there's nothing else we need to do for us to share this with the client. Through Teams, they'll have direct access to this file and the conversation. They can upload other files and chat to us. Guests in Teams get many of the same benefits. We can use chat with them here. As I say, they can upload files and we can use app mentions to alert them to really important updates. So let's have a look at what it looks like for them in the guest experience. Up here in the corner, they're going to be able to switch from their current Teams tenant to their guest access in yours. They can see and review the invitation, understanding that they'll be giving access to their name and their email address as part of this acceptance, and after a moment, they're in. Immediately, they can read and respond to any channel messages, again using app mentions if they want to direct the conversation to particular team members. They can view the files, continue the conversation, and not forgetting, of course, that they can upload their own files for the project. So you can see that it's quite straightforward to join your clients into Teams and share files, collaborate on projects, and stay connected, all while keeping a single version of those files in one secure location. No ping-ponging emails around, no dramas about who's got the latest version of the document. Everybody is kept up to date all the time. Easy. Now, it's not all plain sailing. There are a couple of things to be aware of. We mentioned earlier that when you first add a guest to your team, Teams can take a few hours to update and be available. The bigger annoyance is the desktop experience. When you're logged in as a guest to another tenant, you don't see what's happening in your own Teams. So you don't get any notifications, you have to switch in and out of your main login and being a guest in someone else's organization. Now on mobile, this actually works much better and switching between tenants is really quick and actually quite seamless. But again, this is all as of today. Teams is always changing, so I definitely expect this experience to improve in the future. Okay, so look, if you found this video useful, give us a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And if you'd like to hear more from us, why not click that subscribe button? Okay, well, thanks very much, guys. We will see you next time.